Evening. Pretty crazy headlines, right? When is this all going to settle down? I don't know, but I wish I did. But there is something we can say from all of this. Words, messages shared, can make a huge impact. Video messages shared can do that. Person-to-person -person words shared can do that. And it's interesting that what we do with our words is so powerful, and it's got such an ability to make an impact that it becomes a recurring concern in the Bible, especially in Proverbs. So in chapter 11, beginning with verse 9, we read, With his mouth the godless destroys his neighbor, but through knowledge the righteous escape. When the righteous prosper, the city rejoices. When the wicked perish, there are shouts of joy. Through the blessing of the upright, a city is exalted, but by the mouth of the wicked, it is destroyed. A man who lacks judgment derides his neighbor, but a man of understanding holds his tongue. A gossip betrays a confidence, but a trustworthy man keeps a secret. For lack of guidance, a nation falls, but many advisors make victory sure. Wow, with your mouth, you can destroy your neighbor? Well, you can destroy his reputation. You can make his life pretty miserable. Wow, think about that for a moment. Each word taking a new life of its own, being carried on and being passed along by people. Wow, realizing that, there's some chilling invitation to reflect there. By knowledge, real knowledge of the truth, the righteous escape. So also, when the righteous prosper, the city rejoices. Yeah, that makes sense. Good people do well, and people can be happy for them, and can be happy for what they bring to a city, and good people doing good things are a blessing to a city. In fact, cities are exalted. They're lift up and blessed as upright people do that upright thing that they do. And we need to pray that there will be more upright people who know the Lord, who are wanting to do the right and upright thing. And we also need to thank the Lord for all those people who are doing upright things, good things all around us. And there are a lot of them. It's easy to let that get overshadowed. But a lot of good's been happening in our country. The news hasn't been showing us this, but there are good leaders, good representatives in government, not all of them by any means, but quite a lot of them, and quite a lot of good police as well. I've gotten to know several of them and seen them at work in our area, clearly caring for the people of our city and region, and clearly showing a real concern for everyone they care for. And I praise God for such people and for the good that we have enjoyed here. Is it perfection? No, but there's a lot of good. We then get the warning, a man who lacks judgment derides his neighbor. Now there's some invitation again to reflect a bit. How are you with your neighbor and the people you live around? Are you exercising judgment with how you talk about them? A man of understanding holds his tongue. You know, this can be a challenging thing for some of us, not for all of us. Some of us just naturally know, okay, if you can't say something nice, I guess I probably shouldn't say anything. But others of us really can even take some self-righteous joy in talking bad about people and what they do that's not so good. And we may or may not represent them fairly or accurately, and we need to take that into account. Character matters, including how we use our words and how we represent our neighbors to other people. And added in there, of course, is the warning as well that for lack of guidance, a nation's destroyed. And so we need people who are discerning on the one hand and who are seeking out God's wisdom on all levels of civil society, and that's you and me as well. And a great deal of that discernment is acted out going off of Proverbs in how we use our words. So pray that God set a guard around our mouths, that we speak the truth in love, but that we have the wisdom to know when, in fact, not to speak, so that we can love our neighbor and treat him with our words like we would want to be treated. Let's pray. Loving Father, we thank you for your truth. And we thank you that you are the truth. And we pray that you would help our words to be true, but also loving. And if they cannot be both, Lord, please help us to have the wisdom to know when they need to just be unsaid. We pray for peace in our times. We pray for peace between people. And we pray that we would be sources of blessing and that we would see uprightness from your spirit guiding our lives in our lives and uprightness being acted out by other people. And Lord, help us to give thanks for all of the uprightness and goodness that we do see. Maybe we don't fully recognize, but we're used to and we see. Thank you for good people doing good things. We pray that you would bless them and that we would see more of that. 
We love you, Lord, and we thank you for your kindness with us each day. We pray this in your name. Amen. That's what I have for tonight. Remember, no man is an island, and you don't have to be either, so call right, wave to someone in the park, and continue to draw together during this time of isolation. Shalom.